When Boeing released their newest 777X, they advertised two variants, the 777-8 and the 777-9, but what are the differences in these two widebodies? Stay tuned to see the key differences of the 777-X explained. Before I dive into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Over 94% of you are not subscribed, and it's easy as clicking that red button below. Boeing needed an upgrade to their hugely successful 777 that airlines could invest into. Many airlines had used the 777-300ER and the 777-200LR for their higher capacity long range routes, but these designs were aging. So Boeing needed something more efficient and modern to serve this role. Boeing released a 777X with new engines, a brand new wing taken from the 787 Dreamliner and Boeing's new sky interior. The Boeing 777X boasts much better efficiency and capacity and with its newest engine from General Electric, also the best performance in its class. There are two variants, the smaller 777 and the larger stretch, the 777-9. So let's dive into some categories that will help us to determine the key differences between these two wide bodies. First, let's see these aircraft's capacity and range. The 777-8 can usually be seated in a typical two-class layout with 384 passengers. It can take these passengers for an impressive 16,170 kilometers of range. The larger 777-9 can take 414 passengers in the same layout for 13,940 kilometers. The 777-8 has a smaller capacity, but a much greater range. So both aircraft can compete for different routes with varying range and demands. But what about these aircraft's efficiency? Which plane burns less fuel? The 777-9 is expected to burn around 55 gallons of jet fuel per mile. While the 777-8 doesn't have clear numbers regarding its fuel burn, since the 777-8-8 prototype has not been produced, we can safely estimate it will burn less than its larger rebel, the 777-9. Since it is smaller, and it weighs less. This seems quite obvious. The 777-8 will be more efficient and will burn less, with the cost of lost capacity, that is. But what about their cabins? Will they both have luxurious and modern interiors? Both of these aircraft are anticipated to feature 18-inch wide seats in a free 4 free 10 abreast configuration. They will both feature Boeing's new sky interior with wider windows, better air, and mood lighting. The only key difference in their cabins is that the 777-9 has a longer fuselage. This means it has more space, which will account for the higher seat count. The 777-9 is about 7 meters longer than the 777-8. So the main differences of these aircraft are their technical capabilities. Primarily their range, capacity, and size. But which aircraft will be flying in the sky sooner? Well, the 777-9 has many prototypes already going through flight testing. The 777-9 parts are already being produced for airlines that have ordered it. So let's look at which airlines have ordered both of these variants. The 777-9 is much more popular with the bulk of the 309 orders for the 777-X. The 777-8 only has 45 orders and most of them are anticipated to either be swapped or dropped. No rhyme was intended. The 777-8 may not ever reach production because of low demand, but you can be sure that the 777-9 will be flying for years to come, with big carriers like Emirates, Lufthansa, and British Airways making substantial orders for the aircraft. You may never get to fly on the 777-8. 777-8, but this makes little difference since they are essentially the same. The only main difference is the range and capacity, but the experience would ultimately be the same. Would you like to fly on these aircraft? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this short video, make sure to check out my channel. I have many videos like this one. Also, we are so close to reaching 300 subscribers, so make sure to help me get there. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. That's it for this video, I'll catch you in the next.